We all know that disruption in sleep is more than just an inconvenience. It affects our bodies in more ways than we understand, and this effect is much more pronounced in children than in adults. Sleep issues in the early years can cause permanent changes to a child's brain. Children ages 3 to 7 who don't get enough sleep are more likely to have problems with attention, emotional control, and peer-to-peer -peer relationships in mid-childhood. Moodiness, depression, and even binge eating can also be symptoms of chronic sleep disorder. The recommended amount of sleep at specific age categories are 12 hours or longer at ages 6 months to 2 years, 11 hours or longer at 3 to 4 years, and 10 hours or longer at 5 to 7 years. Dr. Avi Seda, one of a prominent sleep scholar, did an experiment with 77 regular 4th and 6th graders. Sleeping hours of these children were manipulated and effects were observed over a 6-day period. Through sleep manipulation, one group got 30 minutes more than normal sleep and the other group got 30 minutes less. At the end of the study, the researcher took a test of children's neurobiological functioning and found measurable difference between the two groups. The children who got more sleep than usual showed an improved performance in memory test and reaction time and children in the sleep-deprived group showed either no improvement or deterioration in memory and reaction time. It's not only the number of hours of sleep, but also the time of sleep which matters. During weekends, children sleep and wake up later than their usual time. They are not sleeping less, but merely shifting the sleep and wake up time. Researchers have discovered that this mistiming, also known as circadian dysregulation, has a high correlation with performance on a standardized school readiness test. Every hour of weekend shift costs students 7 points on the test. Sleep deprivation can impact a child's IQ as much as lead exposure. Recent research has also revealed an association between sleep deprivation and poorer grades. A survey of more than 3,000 high school students found that students who reported that they were getting C's, D's, and F's in school obtained about 25 minutes less sleep and went to bed about 40 minutes later than students who reported they were getting A's and B's. In teenagers, because of the delay in the release of melatonin, sleep cycle shifts. Teens sleep late and tend to wake up late. Schools which have shifted their timing to later during the day have observed marked performance improvement in the students. In a study, researchers at the University of Minnesota reported the results of a study of more than 7,000 high school students whose school district had switched the timing from 7.15 a.m. to 8.40 a.m. Compared with students whose schools maintained earlier start times, students with later starts reported getting more sleep on school nights, being less sleepy during the day, getting slightly higher grades, and experiencing fewer depressive feelings and behaviors. Tired children cannot remember what they have just learned because neurons lose their efficiency and are not receptive to forming new sympathetic connection necessary to form new memories. Sleep loss also affects body's ability to extract glucose from the bloodstream. Brain, being the biggest consumer of energy, gets affected the most, and of all the parts of the brain, the prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for planning complex cognitive behavior, personality, expression, and decision-making, gets affected the most. With a tired brain, children get distracted easily and have difficulty with impulse control. Another interesting fact is where the positive and the negative stimuli are processed. Amygdala processes negative stimuli and hippocampus processes positive stimuli. Sleep deprivation hit hippocampus harder than the amygdala. Because of this effect, people who are sleep deprived have a hard time recalling happy memories but can easily recall negative events. Sleep deprivation is also highly correlated to obesity. When sleep deprived, the body increases the release of ghrelin, an appetite stimulating hormone. Children who get less than 8 hours of sleep have more than 300% higher rate of obesity than children who get 10 hours of sleep. For more information about sleep disruption and related disorders, list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.